दिल इस गवादर तक ये धरती हमारी है ये माँ हमारी है ये जान हमारी है अदल मदीना हो इंसाफ कजीना हो नेकी हो अमल अपना ये राह हमारी है Sundays at 3:30 p.m. Dil Apna Pakistan presents a cultural magazine show for Canadians with Pakistani roots, featuring community information and entertainment. Ji, Nazri, today we are with Shaukat Khan Sahab. We will interview Shaukat Khan Sahab's house. We will see that the election is being fought by the provincial election. बीसी का जो होने जा रहा है चौबीस अक्टूबर को तो आइए हम इनसे मुलाकात करते हैं हम ये नजीन हम इनके घर में अब दाखिल हुआ चाहते हैं और इनसे इंटरव्यू करते हैं um um i've got a uh, family three kids uh, my wife is a working lady and uh, yes uh, here i am uh, asking you for the words as far as i'm concerned i was born in pakistan came to canada 20 years ago um i am a banker by uh, profession and uh, um um spent a lot of time in the leadership roles as as far as linguistics are concerned as in the khapsa was saying i speak four languages uh, i speak english i speak urdu i speak punjabi i speak pashto and yeah uh looking forward to represent you represent everybody else in the sari wali and uh, the ba- uh, main issues that we are facing right now is uh, drug addiction and homelessness which are intertwined and we celebrate has got a great plan and uh, andrew wilkinson has got a great vision uh, time to call for the change time to hold people accountable who have um, uh promise whatever they are going to do and uh, they were not able to deliver in last three years uh, instead they called the elections uh, which is very uncalled for and uh, covid-19 situation where people are suffering people lost their jobs uh, people are worried what's going to happen and now we have uh, no government or basically uh, demi government for the next uh, two years so time for to vote for the change uh, time uh, please vote for a uh, liberal and uh, please remember to vote for shopat khan sariwali thank you दिल अपना पाकिस्तान के साथ इंतखब अहमद आज यहाँ पे तनौली ट्रैवल के ऑफिस में हम आए हुए हैं और जिनिसम इज इनवाइटेड शी इज इनकम्बेंट फॉर सर ए पैनोरामा कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी एंड शील विल बी हैविंग अ शोर इंटरव्यू विद हर फॉर हर इलेक्शन कैंपेन आइए हम इनसे जिनिसम से मिलते हैं Hello my name is Jenny Sims and uh, I'm running to uh, be re-elected to be the MLA for Sari Panorama. First I want to thank the residents of Panorama for their support and secondly ask for their support again. In 3 years we've done lots we built schools we've expanded schools uh, we're well on to the way with the hospital we have a new urgent care center we've got rid of the poles we've got rid of MSP Patalo bridge they're hiring right now and the work is starting it's all very exciting to watch all the investments that have come into surrey i have seen more investments in surrey in 3 years than i did in the previous 16 we have done lots and we have a lot more to do let's get the job done let's reelect john hogan and the ndp and my heartfelt heartfelt congratulations to dil apna pakistan for the amazing work you do in the community and for keeping everybody connected assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum thank you very much jinisim uh is uh, with us and uh, she has with all spirits uh, ready to go for the election and uh, i welcome you in my tv show the lapna pakistan thank you uh, in carbon thank you for all you do through your tv uh in uh, educating the people and giving them information that's very good and uh, you can tell uh, our voters that why they should vote in ndp and uh, what you will do for them uh thank you very much for that question uh, first of all i think when i look at the record of what sari received for 16 long years under the liberals when there was a neglect on healthcare they promised a hospital that they never built as a matter of fact they sold the land 
and uh, Andrew Wilkinson, the leader of the uh, Liberal Party, was the minister when he sold the land that was on uh, 152 and Highway 10. And that's where we should have been building a hospital and it should have been ready by now. But for 16 long years, all they did was they came and made announcements. Schools, they failed to build schools to keep up with the growth in Surrey. When it came to tolls, we were the only area in all of BC where we had to pay a toll in order to cross a bridge. Nobody else had to pay a toll and that wasn't right. I decided to run because I want to build a better BC and a better Canada for all our kids and for all of us. It doesn't matter where you've come from, whether you come from Pakistan, India, Ethiopia, Brazil, England, you name it. Once we come here, we are very proud Canadians. We are proud of our heritage, wherever we've come from. We live in a multicultural country. And we are with um, Khalid Johan. Khalid Johan is the best here. And uh, Khalid Johan, you, uh, you can um, tell me about this meeting, what's happening today here. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we are supporting uh, NDP. The reason we're supporting we want uh, strong multiculturalism in the community in, in BC. And we want like uh, uh, all inclusive uh, policies, legislation made in the assembly. Uh, we want the, the poor people and people working class looked after very well. Good medical system, good hospital education and infrastructure in BC. And we also want like, because in paid, pandemic in their performance, they worked very hard, BC government and they kept all the businesses, uh, industry, construction, retail business, eh, and eh, they all kept running normally in that ab abnormal situation, normal situation, and uh, and they work very hard day and night. We will have, Malika, you want to say something about this meeting today, you are here? Second time she was going to win definitely, but because of the wave, <laughs> Of, uh, there's no doubt about, about her competence and she understands the issues. She has all the experience. She's been a uh, president of one of the very uh, radical, hard <coughs> union that we call in our Khadu. Uh, and she was the president of that union, teachers union. And she knows her business very well. Okay, And she delivered. किया हारून भाई ने और माशाल्लाह बिलाल भाई ने और बाकी भी हारून भाई तो उम्मीद है कि इस जज्बे के से और इस कमिटमेंट के साथ अगर हम चलेंगे तो कोई बुरी नहीं कि इन्शाल्लाह नेक्स्ट ईयर हम इस मस्जिद को कामी रोता हुआ देखें इन्शाल्लाह जैसे हरजमत भाई ने बताया कि फिनिशिंग के काफी काम जो है व दूसरा ई ट्रांसफर्स हैं ई ट्रांसफर्स भी ऑटोमेटिकली हमारे अकाउंट में क्रेडिट हो रही है कीप वाचिंग दिल अपना पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान जिंदा आई कैन हेल्प इमिग्रेशन सर्विसेज इज रिलायबल एंड लीडिंग इमिग्रेशन सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इन सरे बीसी वी आर अ मेंबर इन गुड स्टैंडिंग विद द आईसीसीआरसी प्लीज सेंड अस योर रेज़्यूमे एट सैयद dot com at i can help immigration dot com or call us at seven seven eight two three nine seven eight our website is www dot i can help immigration dot com जी नज़रीन आज हम शौकत खान साहब के साथ हैं शौकत खान साहब के घर से हम इंटरव्यू करेंगे इनका और देखेंगे कि ये सरे वाली से इलेक्शन लड़ रहे हैं प्रोवेंशनल इलेक्शन बीसी का जो होने जा रहा है 24 अक्टूबर को तो आइए हम इनसे मुलाकात करते हैं हम ये नज़रीन हम इनके घर में अब दाखल हुआ चाहते हैं और इनसे इंटरव्यू करते हैं नरेंद्र जी लोग अपना पाकिस्तान के साथ इन खराब मत आज शाहिद खान साहब के साथ शाहिद खान साहब जो हैं वो सरे बॉली से लिबरल पार्टी बीसी लिबरल्स के कैंडिडेट हैं 
Uh, welcome to our show, Dilla from Pakistan. Thank you, Dilla sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, so uh, uh, we will we'll have a few questions about your profile. Sure. And uh, you, because uh, I know you for the past uh, 15 years, and uh, I want you to introduce yourself to the community. Sure. So that the uh, community would know that uh, Shah Rukh Khan has uh, stepped up to the plate, a political plate which is uh, uh, the way to go to represent uh, BC voters. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, sir, just to say something about myself, I was born in Pakistan, uh, brought and raised up, went to the university. Right. Uh, and then I got my initial job over there as a banking, um, uh, in the banking field. So right. I worked as a banker in Pakistan for five years. Then I got married, got the immigration, came here to Canada in July 2000 uh, with my four months uh, daughter and my wife. Very good. Um, my wife was a dental surgeon over there, I was a banker over there, we came in, she couldn't work because we didn't have any family here so she stayed home for 17 years and I was lucky enough to get a breakthrough uh, where I got into an entry level banking job uh, with one of the credit unions immediately after two months, uh, two weeks of planning which was uh, uh, very very good for an immigrant. And then I had um, uh, extreme pleasure to work with amazing teams and amazing leaders. And uh, I progressed um, uh, my career in the banking industry. Uh, right now I'm working as an area manager with one of the very well-known banks out there. And um, uh, yeah, I've uh, been here for 20 years. During that time period, I was involved, as you know, in the community big time. I've been working out with um, uh, non-profit organizations. I'm uh, at the moment, uh, on a board for a South Asian a focus group uh, for a BC Children Hospital Foundation. That's very good. Yes, and uh, also involved in uh, lots of other um, um, uh, NGOs uh, out there and uh, I work with the community very closely. Uh, we have tried to do whatever we can to help out the community in times of needs. And uh, this opportunity came up uh, where I was given an opportunity to represent a liberal uh, from uh, Sari Wali. So very excited, very excited. Very excited. Uh, time for a change and lots of issues that we are going to talk about. That's very good. So the, uh, what do you think uh, our community in, as a whole, beside um, housing, drugs, uh, what are their, I mean, uh, these are the two major issues and um, uh, employment as well. So how you, uh, do you think that your party is going to help the BC residents? So the biggest thing right now, as everybody knows, unprecedented times, COVID-19. Yes. Uh, things are not what they are or they used to be. And right. we have got issues, yeah. we have got health issues, people have lost their jobs, small businesses are in turmoil, economy is in shambles, and everybody is working together. BC Liberal was helping out um, uh, NDP, NDP was working out with uh, uh, Bonnie Henry's team and um, uh, people were pretty comfortable how we were making the progress and then immediately something came out of nowhere where um, these elections were called and uh, yeah everybody knows that this was not the right time to call elections instead we should join continue to join our hands and continue to do what is good for the people help them out and get out of this uh, COVID-19 situation but now, now we have got this um, election on hand it has been called uh, with one uh, month period um, and everybody is scratching their ha uh, heads to figure out how they are going to take advantage and get to the people out there within the next one month. So Yeah, next month, one month is very important uh, for the BC voters and uh, uh, Eastern Canada has al al already done this election uh, in uh, I think New Brunswick. Yes. Uh, yes. New Brunswick has uh, done this election and uh, uh, can you explain to the people that uh, how they can pre-register for online voting and how they can uh, uh, participate uh, even sitting within the comfort of their home and uh, support you on... So uh, everybody can pre-register for um, a vote package uh, in the mail. Uh, today is the last day. If you go online, I've shared it on my profile, everybody else is sharing it too. And uh, yeah, you can uh, vote from home. Uh, you get the water package uh, delivered to your house. Um, and again, if you look at how these elections are going to be, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different. Uh, we all follow uh, Dr. Um, uh, Henry Bonney's um, uh, guidelines. 
and we just found out today there was a comment made that uh, yeah as if you are going to the mall just make sure that you have got your uh, face covered so uh, yeah uh, there will be more instructions clear instructions that will be coming as to how people have to vote uh, the trick would be you have to get out and vote uh, that's uh, what we are all worried about uh, that um, in these times we just want to make sure everybody um, get an option to uh, vote for uh, the change uh, that they need and again uh, uh, lots of issues going on out there as you uh, in the top uh, point he said um, there are uh, addiction issue, issues on the rise, there are crimes on the rise, there are homeless um, uh, uh, lessness issues uh, and they are all interconnected to each other and everything revolves around uh, economy and as you know whenever liberal comes businesses thrive, uh, families prosper uh, and that's what they have done in the past and we can talk about it in detail um, but yeah uh, their performance is on the table and if you look on our uh, leader right now, Andrew Wilkinson, amazing leader, he's a doctorate, he's a PhD, uh, he's a Rhodes Scholar and uh, he has got a very clear vision of uh, helping out um, the economy of BC and continue and even make it better as far as um, health guidelines for COVID-19 situations are concerned. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, uh, we'll continue on this uh, question again. Um, the hospitality um, businesses have been affected very much and unemployment among those communities are too much. So uh, will your government, uh, if you form government, then what they will be planning for the mass unemployment which has happened? So um, um, Andrew Wilkinson and his team, they are uh, going to announce the plan pretty soon. Uh, they are already working on it. Very uh, but again, uh, COVID-19 is a situation where people are uh, suffering. As you said, um, hospitality industry and lots of other industry people have lost their jobs. Um, they are getting the help that uh, they can. Uh, but yeah, we just want to make sure we have got a very comprehensive plan. Uh, COVID-19 is going to stay here and we just want to make sure people are getting the help, um, uh, help and support that they need. And again, it's all about education. It's all about this is the new norm to live in. And it's all about making sure that we are trying to keep ourselves safe and we can still uh, put the food on the table for our kids. That's right. Staying safe, um, how you are going to mingle with the community? Uh, because we have to move into uh, different uh, segments of the community. <coughs> and uh, how you will intermingle? Uh, I'm, I'm just asking that, do you, do you have a plan for your, uh, um, uh, to meet your voters? So basically, it would be mostly uh, on social uh, media. <clears throat> okay. We'll be reaching out uh, okay. to people over the phone. We'll be reaching out to people uh, on the emails. <clears throat> Even if on ground, if we are called upon uh, to meet people, we just have to make sure that we're keeping the distances. Uh, we are not uh, touching and we are not shaking hands uh, uh, with each other. And we just have to make sure that we are going to keep ourselves safe and we are going to keep everybody else safe. It's just like going to Masjid or going to uh, Gurdwara or it's going to church. 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 Yeah. Uh, I was called to go to one of the Masjids and yeah, I was really impressed. Uh, I was uh, uh, called to go to one of the Gurdwaras. I was really impressed. And I'm going to one of the churches next week. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, social distancing is in practice and everybody is being very careful and very glad to see uh, that everybody is taking the precaution, not just keep it themselves safe, but yeah, also to keep... My viewers, um... Shahrukh Khan is a, a great uh, uh, in, uh, introduction to our political arena in BC and he has stepped up as I said before. Uh, so let's join hand, uh, make him uh, win for that election, that uh, this election which is happening on October 24th. Uh, where um, uh, the history can be made if everyone works together. Absolutely, and again, uh, thank you very much in the for yeah. giving me the time. And request to everybody, please do come on October 24th. Vote for Liberal and vote for Shokat Khan in Sariwani. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep watching the Lucknow Pakistan. Uh, people support and hopefully NDP, uh, the promises they are making or they have done it and that you as a voter uh, will decide whom you should vote. And we are with um, Khalid Chauhan. Khalid Chauhan is uh, with us here. And uh, Khalid Chauhan, you, uh, you can uh, tell me about this meeting, what's happening today here. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, 
we are supporting uh, NDP. The reason we supporting we want uh, strong multiculturalism, and we want like uh, uh, all inclusive uh, policies legislation made in the assembly. Uh, we want the, the poor people and people working class looked after very well. Good medical system, good hospital, educational infrastructure in BC, and we also want like because in paid pandemic in their performance they worked very hard BC government, and they kept all the businesses, uh, industry, construction, retail business, and they all kept running normally in that abnormal situation, and uh, and they work very hard day and night and. To, uh, to acknowledge that, we must vote them so that they can secure our future and make good legislation and provide good leadership to the uh, resident of BC. Thank you very much. Thank you. Malik sir, you want to say something about this meeting today? You are here. See, look at the government just running with one, one, one seat. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. seat, okay. So minority with one seat and that shows their management and administrative capabilities of our leader John Horkan and uh, his cabinet. That means you have managed all the affairs, generally almost all the promises except few because wherever there were some issues about environmental things. And of course a uh, Green Party they have their, that is their main agenda protection of environment and all that you see for them but you see in order to keep a balance to grow the economy <clears throat> economy is uh, we have to grow population is exploding so we have to take some projects in the interest of the community though they have some uh, uh, environmental challenges okay very good very so good. <clears throat> the thing is <clears throat> there they have to of course they have to compromise with that so this is the reason because they want to do much more okay. and uh, to fulfill their promises. That's why they called this election. Though, I mean, it's a very difficult decision which they have taken uh, under this COVID situation. And it's a very, very bold decision. So that shows that mean the confidence of the leadership, that they have their confidence on their capability, on their deliveries that they can deliver, they, 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 whatever they have done, they know that the people are recognizing them, their voters are happy, the community is happy. So now, for the unfinished agenda, <clears throat> they want a majority government so that they should fulfill their promises. So what we have to do is that, uh, keeping all in mind, we have to support them, we have to, the whole thing is under this situation, you see, <coughs> The vote is very important. Getting the people to vote. Okay. That is the vote. That's what the service we can give to Jini. Not the lip service. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, uh, as uh, Mr. Abdul said, that uh, uh, vote, come out and vote, and uh, that's the service they are going to do. In return, government will do the service. We have Tariq with us, and Tariq is here. Uh, so, we'll try to. Uh, take his comments. <coughs> Mr. Tariq, uh, what about you? You are here to support uh, Dini Sim. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. I think Dini delivered a very good message already and she mentioned all the achievements. Uh, and plus, uh, I think NDP, because I belong to social services and I meet so many people and ND NDP has done so much good for the people who really need the financial support and support in the communities. So, uh, as a uh, few things mentioned by Dini, and we are not paying now MSP bills, we are not paying any more tolls on the bridges, and uh, plus uh, they are working on ICBC, and a lot of things have been done, and they are still working on it. So, everybody is getting, getting benefits, and uh, that's the reason I'm here, and uh, we are strongly supporting Dini Sims, and I wish her all the best in all coming election. And I have Hamza with me. Hamza will speak here. Hamza is, uh, I've been seeing him in different um, arenas. So Hamza, you want to say something about it? Uh, I'll just be short. Uh, I've known Ginny for the past nine years and uh, she has done a great job and uh, we want her to go back to Victoria and represent us. I belong to this riding, so 
I would definitely want her to go and represent us uh, in Victoria. And secondly, I think uh, it was a hard decision for NDP to call this election, but I think they need a majority government because they are on the right track and with the majority government, they will be able to deliver more. Um, and that's it. Oh, that's very good. So, NDP is looking for a new mandate from the people in a snap election. Um, I hope uh, whoever, uh, people are, are the judge to judge the, um, uh, the performance of the uh, uh, two parties. Uh, so, uh, we'll uh, keep you updated on the election campaign uh, from Surrey, BC and the uh, rest of the cities in um, Lower Mainland. Thank you very much. Today we are showing you wildlife in Panorama Ridge. Uh, there's a deer there and he's looking at us and we are not moving. I'm just taking a video of this guy. Uh, it's so beautiful. He's not moving. He's staring at us. This is amazing. He's not moving. Now he moved. Oh, there he goes. Now he decided to mind his own business. I Can Help Immigration Services is reliable and leading immigration service provider in Surrey, BC. We are a member in good standing with the ICCRC. Please send us your resume at sayed.com at ICanHelpImmigration.com or call us at 778-239-78. Our website is www.ICanHelpImmigration.com.